Hey, this is my residential real estate market update for Edmonton and Sherwood Park for period ending July 31st, 2019. Are you interested in seeing how our market did last month? Well, that's what this video is all about. Also, make sure you stay to the end if you're interested to know which neighborhoods in Edmonton are selling above list price. Let's get started. Welcome to my residential real estate market update for August 2019. I'm Jen McPhillamy, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. So first up, we're gonna talk about the Edmonton real estate market, uh, specifically single family detached homes and condos. So recently I had a buyer ask me why sellers aren't letting their homes go for big discounts on their list price. Last year he experienced, he was able to pick up homes for big discounts from list price. Well, the reason is the market is shifting and sellers are becoming more competitive with their pricing. It can be confusing for some buyers because when you look at the total volume of sales this year, we're still behind last year. But that's largely due to January, February, and March being pretty slow months, abnormally slow. But as we headed into the spring and the summer, we looked at the month over month and year over year numbers, you could see that things are definitely shifting. So your chance of selling the absorption rate in both categories was up. Single family detached homes came in about 21% chance of selling, which is up 4% from July, 2018. Condos are at about 14%, which is up 2% from July, 2018. So when we look at absorption rate or your chance of selling, be reminded that once you hit 30%, you start entering into a balanced market. So with single family detached homes, we're getting pretty close. So the average home prices are down, which speaks to my point that sellers are pricing their homes more competitively. Average price for single family detached homes is at $418,856. This is a decrease of about 32,000 from July, 2018. As for condos, the average price is $234,420. This is a decrease of about 12,000 since July, 2018. So let's look at inventory. Listing versus sold. The amount of homes available for sale for single family detached homes continues to decline. In July, there are 4,287 homes for sale. This is down 9% from last year. Of those 4,287 homes for sale, 910 of them sold. Sales are up nearly 13% from 2018. Condos had 2,430 condos for sale. This is down about 20% from last year. Of the 2,430 condos that were for sale, 480 of those sold, which is pretty flat month over month. The average days on market essentially stays unchanged. Single family detached home is taking about 53 days on average to sell. As for condos, the average days on market to sell is about 62 days. Okay, so what's happening in Sherwood Park compared to Edmonton? It looks like a very competitive market for single family detached homes, whereas condos look like they took a big hit last month. So your chance of selling or the absorption rate for single family detached homes in Sherwood Park is at 42.86%. That's a gain of nearly 45% since last year. Wow. So to be in a seller's market, you need to have an absorption rate of about 50%. Sure Park is so close. I'm sure for buyers out there, it's feeling like a seller's market already. So for condos, doesn't look so good. Your chance of selling is only at about 19%. It's a pretty big decrease. Month over month, that's a decrease of about 35%. And year over year, that's a decrease of about 17%. I'm actually really curious to see what happens with the condo market in Sherwood Park, because I find it so strange that the condo market was making gains the last few months, and then all of a sudden, just things just crashed. So what happened? Did everybody just go on vacation? So after that news, it's no surprise that the benchmark pricing for single family homes is up in Sherwood Park and down for condos in Sherwood Park. The benchmark price for a single family detached home in Sherwood Park is $460,860. That is the highest benchmark price in the last 12 months. 
whereas condos, they're down and their benchmark price is $255,065. This is a decrease of about $47,000 just since last month. Crazy. Okay, so Sherpark Park inventory, listing versus sold. So the amount of single family detached homes for sale in Sherpark Park continues to decrease. In July, there are only 245 homes for sale, single family detached homes for sale in Sherpark. Park. That's down 23% from last year. Of the 245 homes that were for sale, 105 of those homes sold in July. And that's up 12% since last year. So for condos, the inventory is also down. The amount of condos that were for sale in July was 97. That's down 13% from last year. Unfortunately, it was a huge decrease for the amount of those that sold. Only 18 of those 97 condos sold in July, which is a huge decrease month over month and year over year. So in both categories, the average days on market are down. Single family detached homes in Sherwood Park are taking on average 45 days to sell whereas condos in Sherwood Park are taking on average 67 days to sell. And as always, for all you stat junkies out there, check out the link below for full market stats for Edmonton and Sherwood Park. Okay, so as I promised, which neighborhoods in Edmonton are selling for above list? You may be surprised to know that there's actually 52 neighborhoods in Edmonton that had at least one sale that was above list price. That's pretty crazy since overall Edmonton is basically still in a buyer's market. Just goes to show you how segmented we really are. The runner up neighborhood for the most homes sold above list price in Edmonton was Terwilliger Town. Out of the 11 homes that sold in Terwilliger Town in July, three of them sold above list price. And finally, the neighborhood that had the most homes that sold above list price. Out of the 18 homes that sold in this neighborhood, four of them sold above list price. And that neighborhood is Chappelle. I find that pretty interesting. I expected maybe it was something more centrally located. Anyway, I hope you found this information to be interesting and valuable. If you have any questions about real estate, please reach out to me. I would love to answer them for you. And remember, every one of my clients has a unique personal and financial circumstance. I am always available to meet with you to customize a strategy to get you where you need to be. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.